Welcome back. We want to talk about marriage today. Why it's okay to want marriage. Why to want marriage. And why should you? Yeah. And also, why do so many marriages fail? Which brings a lot of scare to singles. A lot of fear, hesitation that's attached. And it kills desire really for marriage. Yeah, yeah. A lot of hesitation attached to what you may have grown up with, seeing your parents and all the marriages around you in your life were chaos and drama and mm -hmm. and the few relationships that you may have stepped out on. You saw the handwriting on the wall that, mm -hmm. yep, relationships just don't work or yeah. all the ladies out there or all the guys out there are just trash. They all got baggage and junk and I just don't want any part of it. And all of the things you've seen, maybe that married couple have you don't want to have. Maybe you haven't seen good marriages, or if you have, you don't even know if it's real or true, or they're just yeah. making yeah. it look like that. So what do you do if deep down, if you're honest with yourself, you want to be married, mm -hmm. but there's this gigantic but there in front of you. Right. And but this or that, fill mm -hmm. in the blank, mm -hmm. that is overshadowing that desire. And instead, what comes out of your mouth is, I don't ever want to be married, because a yeah, single life is so much easier and so much more free. Yeah. Well, I don't try to convince you otherwise, if that's what you think. Because yeah. now we're just getting into a mind battle. Right. Rather, I recognize that if this is your story, that that's that's tough. I get it. I, I mean, I could mm -hmm. at least partly relate to some degree. Yeah. That if I had the uh, marriage like as what I grew up with, and what I saw in our community, um, yeah, I probably would be better to stay single. And probably why you stayed single until probably, 40. Probably why I was single until I was 40 is... It does I, affect us. I was scared. I was just like, man, I don't... You know, I want to make sure that I have a good marriage. and But I didn't know how. Well, the bottom line, we have to recognize that everything in life, I don't care how spiritual it is, comes yeah. down to a skill that you develop. Mm -hmm. You learn something, you apply it, and you become better at it. Yeah. Even the spiritual gifts in the Bible are exercised and perfected, and you get you get become more fluent at it. Well, same mm -hmm. thing with marriage. And so, if you wait to form relationships with the opposite gender until you've met the one, guess what? Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a tough one because if you haven't exercised those relationship building skills up to that point, what makes you think that you're suddenly going to have the skills when you're ready? That's so right. you know, I, often when we reach out to singles to hey. Would you like to have a conversation or hop into our single married community? Oh, I'm not ready for marriage. I'm like, well, exactly. Mm -hmm. If you were ready for marriage, that's then you wouldn't need us, right? Because we're yeah. all about the process. If you and if you've been watching our videos for any length of time, you'll know that we're never about the goal and the end point. We're about the process. Mm -hmm. Define what you want, but then we start working on the process, the little nuggets to mm -hmm. get you there so that you are ready, right? We yeah. recognize that you're not ready. That's what we're here for. We're re we're here for those that aren't ready and are humble enough to admit it. Yeah. And say, help. Yeah. Like I did. Mm -hmm. I was 40 years old. I was like, help. I don't know what, I did, what I'm doing wrong. How do I get married? I miss a turn back there somewhere. I'm getting older. I want uh, to be, you know, have somebody to grow, grow old with and possibly have children and all of that. And so I had to recognize that I desired marriage and really if everyone is really really honest with themselves even the people that would vehemently deny this and argue against it if you go deep mm -hmm. enough yes they do want marriage it's what they don't want is the baggage that they see that comes with it yeah that's what they don't mind want and they see no way of of splitting that apart they see it as a package that's just mm -hmm. marriage is this big horrible awful a uh, scary thing of chaos and drama and i'm not in control and of it. yeah and i'm not in control of it i'm at the mercy of all the forces out there and knocking me around i'm at the mercy of life yeah and and spiritual forces i don't understand so be. so and then but when you recognize that no you can pull away the chaos and the drama yeah and create a beautiful marriage right so when you can when you can see that that's where we get into 
you desire marriage because God designed you to desire marriage. Why did he create that desire within you? Because right. it was a command in the original beginning to be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth. Marriage was a commandment. Mm -hmm. So that takes it into the realm that's no longer about us. It's about fulfilling God's eternal purpose. mandate and yeah. purpose yeah. for humanity upon earth and on into eternity future. Mm -hmm. So once we recognize that marriage isn't about us, it's about fulfilling a commandment of God. That brings responsibility onto us. Like, okay, it's up to us to figure it out mm -hmm. and to be proactive and go, okay, then I need to learn how to be married and have a great marriage. Yeah. Because I don't want what I see out there. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're where that's what we're looking to address. And so far, we have not yet seen a single couple become divorced who continue to apply the principles that we teach consistently consecutively non-stop mm -hmm. without fail mm -hmm. on into their marriage yeah the ones that we have seen that started the process that we ourselves implement because we again we practice what we preach yeah and we don't want to be hypocrites the ones that started it and got married through the process mm -hmm. and but then they've kind of fell off and stopped doing the process we noticed they started struggling yeah and then they picked it up again and they started doing better again and then they you know fell off again and then they weren't doing so well we've just noticed that cycle that those who continue doing what got them married mm -hmm. often maintain a great marriage so it's really just super simple and yeah. the tough part is the application thereof because life starts screaming at you with all the obligations and commitments and pulling you this way and that way yeah. which by the way we address another video. This is a result of not understanding your true mission and vision for life, your MVP, mission, vision, peculiar, and uh, not being purposeful with your time and your mm -hmm. budgets. Like mm -hmm. too much unintentionality and not enough purpose and why in your life to keep you focused right. so that you don't get overwhelmed with the demands of life. Okay, back to the subject. So apply applying what you did to get married mm -hmm. if you simply continue doing the same things and better and more and with yeah. greater intensity and on into marriage you will always have a great marriage yeah and listen life throws punches at you for sure things happen some things that are out of your control some things will trigger you from the old wounds that you have. The thing is, though, when you have tools to work through it, you overcome things that seems to be a chaos and a mess and scary um, monster in a way. You can work through it. And because of that, your marriage becomes even deeper and better and the deeper connection is formed in that. And we work through that as well. In the beginning of our marriage, it was a lot of hard work to learn how to be with each other, how to operate, right? And yet it was beautiful. You in know, the, in the thick of it, we didn't think about it because it was like, okay, like, we were just yeah. young and naive and just did the work, you know, okay, right. we got to work through this. And, yeah. and we did. But looking back on it, Wow, it's so much easier now than it was back yes. then. But we, I, I wasn't processing that thought that it was hard back then. It was right. just like, well, you're in it and this is life and yeah. you do what it takes, you know, yeah. and you move through it, you know. Looking back, you're like, I can't believe I just went through that. But in the middle of it, you don't think about it. Yeah. And, you know, we want to share with you that marriage is beautiful. And we created what we have, by the way. It didn't just uh, exactly. drop out of the sky randomly by some random exactly uh, yeah so it's beautiful because we created it that way and oh listen i hear so much from other women who are saying thank you for sharing that because they've seen they heard so many marriages that are not like that and they want to have hope and we're here to bring you hope that marriage can be beautiful you are creator of it. But there are a few things that you also need to learn how to do. You need to know what you need, what do you want, how to connect, how to communicate, how to commit, right? Yeah. And confidence. There's so many tools that, again, 
you can knock on our door and ask which tools are you talking about here. We share a lot of them in our videos, so you can go to other videos to look at it. But again, that is the foundation really of creating mm -hmm. a beautiful I, I hear I hear someone out in our audience asking the question of where is God in all of this? Oh. We're not giving any uh, uh, any any uh honor glory. honor and glory to god yeah well that's because that's assumed for us right that's already uh, the bedrock of our assumptions yes and we just take it into the raw and real practical of like okay yeah you pray to god and you give him the honor and the glory and you follow his word read his word study his truth mm -hmm. but how what does that look like practically day-to-day -day walking right. it out like yeah. okay well great i know this great wonderful truth Okay, I'm just gonna squeeze hard, and maybe I'll I'll, I'll squeeze out an extra uh, extra pound of try hard harder. Mm -hmm. That's how a lot of Christians appro approach their relationships and marriages. I'm just gonna try harder, or do or better, or, be better or, or go to another conference and get lit on fire for the Lord, and then I'll come back, and my marriage will be glorious, or I'll meet my mm -hmm. lovely somebody there mm -hmm. at the conference. But if you don't have the skills and the practical all worked out and implemented, yeah. guess what? You're just going to go to another conference and come home single still. Yeah. And you know, I'm going to continue going to church, serving at church Yeah, and still be single. The church is not going to get you married, by the way. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, very few churches out there, if any, that I know that uh, actually understand how to break it down for singles on the process of like do this this mm -hmm. this and and then stick with them and walk them through the process of getting married i know because i've been in that world hardcore mm -hmm. and uh they're good at asking you why are you still not married <laughs> and trigger you every time when yeah, you say, yeah. you're such a good person why are you still single but okay so can i share this with absolutely you? i just had to bring that up because there's a sense in my spirit and my heart that that question is coming up in our audience out there somewhere yeah and i just lost my oh, i'm sorry train of thoughts here um yes there we go so where does god come in in this well we are in marriage with god and if we don't have the skills and tools and that persistence and consistency with him you don't have a relationship with god the same thing applies to marriage same thing applies to friendship and same thing applies to everything in life so success really lies in really going deeper getting to the practice of it and making it a daily habit Okay, we choose to love each other every day. Every morning we wake up and we choose to say, I love you. I'm mm -hmm. so grateful to be married to you. Wow, look at my hot, handsome hobby. And we hug and we connect and we do what it takes. Morning practices together where we can create yeah. the deeper Express connection gratitude and worthiness yes. of each other and yeah. and we apply all five love languages not just one yeah and we connect with our heavenly father at the same time in that uh, practice time and listen the beauty of it is that you can make it happen as you desire just get the tools and start putting them to practice and you can make the marriage of your dreams come true and enjoy it. And that is going to bring glory to God. And for the men, well, I just say, pull yourselves up by your bootstraps, get to work and, and get her done. Yeah. Stop pussyfooting. If you're too busy for marriage, then uh, you're too busy. Yeah. Period. Yeah. <laughs> If yeah. you're too busy to do the work that's required to get married, then you're also too busy to be married. And you're probably too busy and it's just filling an empty spot in your life mm -hmm. because you have the time to fill it with. So And the mindsets. Yeah. You know, we have the tools to really change your beliefs and mindsets and turn them around to 
the beneficial yeah. part of it. Our lives are a, a product and a sum total of every decision we've ever made and mm -hmm. everything we believe produces yeah. what we what we have in our lives. So the Bible's true. Mm -hmm. Whatever you believe, that's what you have. Yeah. All right. We love you. Sending you hugs and bringing you hope. That's right. For your marriage. See you next time.